you know, technology has a very critical role to play in uh, engaging patients throughout the clinical trial journey. You know, right from the first touch point of how patients are contacted about a potential clinical trial, it starts with education, information, building trust, and sharing knowledge about what is this clinical trial all about? What are the risks and benefits of enrolling in this clinical trial? In a very honest, candid manner as only using the regulatorily approved materials, you know, whether it's video, text, documents, uh, various types of multimedia content should be used using technology to put it in front of prospective patients who might actually consider enrolling in that clinical trial, help them make an informed choice. Is this a right fit for them? And it's not just about the clinical information, but also the logistical information. How many visits are involved? What's the travel burden? What's the additional time burden and expectation? Will they be required to take time off from uh, their paid work to participate in this clinical trial? Will they need a caregiver, family member to support them in commuting to the site? All these things uh, are very critical when you look at it in the grand scheme of things. And that will help build trust, engage the patients very early, and then uh, taking them throughout the uh, course of a clinical trial, screening them early uh, in getting uh, remote questionnaires, you know, having the patients complete whether the inclusion exclusion criteria they meet or not, that's very critical. And then the divine contract between the patient and the physician investigator, which is called informed consent, has to be done in a proper manner, either in person or in a live interactive video conferencing session. And that then uh, leads into, if they are eligible and consented, they might get randomized in a randomized trial, and then uh, engage them throughout the study in helping them not miss their appointments by sending them uh, sufficient reminders, alerts, notifications in a communication channel that the patient is comfortable in. Whether it's texting, emailing, or calling them with an automated reminder, or being available uh, for patients throughout the study. Now, uh, in addition to all of this, uh, if there is an app or a portal where patients can log in and check their own status, how far have I progressed, what have I completed? What is yet to, uh, what can they look forward to in the future? That also helps patients uh, stay on course and complete the study uh, and remain adherent to their clinical trial protocol, their medication regimen as prescribed by, in the clinical trial. And that's very critical in, in not only recruiting patients upfront, but also retaining them so they actually are successful in completing the study.